God didn't change his mind. God said what he said. God did not change his mind. He said what he said. Keep standing on what the Lord spoke to you about your spouse. You, you that are still standing, you that are still waiting, God is doing this thing like this swiftly, swiftly. So don't believe those videos when people are saying, oh man, my, my husband didn't accept, my wife didn't accept the, the plan of the Lord. That's a lie because if God told you that they were going to come and he's given you visions and dreams of them coming and he's been confirming to you over and over, then it is so. Okay? It is so. Let me tell you. The replacements, that's a lie as well. God is not talking about... Um, He's, he's, he's not talking to you about replacements. That is another spirit, and you know what spirit that is. So I just want to encourage you that if you continue to hold on and stand, um, because this thing is happening swiftly, you keep standing because it's, it's all well worth it. It's all well worth it. Every tear that you cried fighting the enemy off, you know, fighting the lies off, it's all worth it and it's bigger than what you can it's bigger than what you can imagine sometimes, you know, the separation you gotta look at the separation as a blessing look at the separation as a blessing, your spouse could have been in and out your life in and out the door and just breaking your heart over and over again but this, in this time and in the silence, you have been growing closer to the Lord. Your discernment has been getting sharper. And God has kept you in peace. While your spouse was going through what they were going through, while they were finding their way back to Jesus, seeing that the world did not have anything for them, that it was only the Lord. So I just want to encourage you to find to look at the blessing in the wait because there's all kinds of lessons there's all kind of blessings in why you have waited for so long but brother and sister you're more you're stronger spiritually you're walking in your calling you know who you are in the lord and so your spouse catching right up to you align to you both of you walking in agreement there is a break in sight there is a a break in the silence happening and you welcome them and you pour into them okay and that is huge you pour into them because the enemy has been stealing from them a lot stealing from their their manhood their womanhood a lot and let me tell you you're the one that's gonna help build them back up and, and pour into them courage, speak life to them. Listen, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful, powerful walk, you guys. And so if you're still standing, it's worth it. It's worth it. Still stand, still praise, still worship, still thank God, still have gratitude. Keep your heart open to receive. Prepare, prepare, prepare to receive those of you that are still standing. And the Lord is definitely sending quick confirmations to you, so pay attention. Don't be, don't allow the enemy to get you in your feelings about anything at all because you want to stay in a, a heart posture of full of love. Okay, so keep those lamps burning bright when the Lord is telling you to whatever, which way he's telling you to go. Be still and listen and let him guide you because a lot of you, he's guiding you into your ministry and your spouses are going to be walking with you in your ministry, both of you, and it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be a lot of traveling. Talk about freedom on another level that's coming from God in the supernatural. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Okay, I'm talking about super abundant favor. I'm talking about abundant blessings. Everything that you have prayed for. God has done a new thing. Will you perceive it? 
I'm telling you, the enemy was trying to, he was always trying to lie to me, but I stood, I stood, I stood, I stood. I fell and then I stood and I got back up and I kept running, okay? The race isn't given to the swift, but those that endure until the end. And it's a huge blessing, I'm telling you. You carry love in your heart abundantly for what God is doing. Um, it is like a dream. It You will you will definitely be feeling um, like you're walking in a dream in Psalms 126, okay? So be encouraged, completely stay in hope, stay in joy. Everything that God does is worth it. Everything he tells us to do while, we, while we're waiting with him and walking with him and uplifting others and, and blessing people on our journey, everything he tells us to do is a huge blessing on us and on others. Um, it's purposeful. Everything God does is purposeful. He's got it. He, you know, he he wants his children now. The anointing has happened to where happening to where, you know, you're walking in power, not second guessing God anymore. Walking in power, walking in love, not second guessing His voice, knowing who you are, whose you are, boldly doing and stepping into what God has called you to step into boldly with no fear. Okay, this is this is the new children of God, kingdom of God. <laughs> wow. It's rising, it's rising. Just like the darkness is rising, which is defeated, God's kingdom is rising. So I encourage you guys. The beauty of the Lord is is um Unmatched. There is no other God besides our Father God. And what he spoke <laughs> is that plus more. Okay? All right. <laughs>